Hello guys and welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be installing the IXF crank set and bottom bracket going from 3x to 1x. So this is the old 3x that was on there and this crank is completely ruined and it also had a square taper bottom bracket identified by the square in the middle. With the square taper, it's a lot of weight, it's heavy, and so is three by having three chain rings, it's quite heavy. So, we're losing some weight off the bike. So yeah, let's get into uh, installing this. So, I have my old bottom bracket taken out, but there's some dirt, some dust, some old grease in there. So we're gonna uh, clean this out and to get it ready for installing the new bottom bracket. We're going to be adding one spacer on the right side, which is the drive side. And my bottom bracket width or shell width is 73 millimeters. So we have one spacer and we're going to grease the threads on the bottom bracket and the bottom bracket shell. Okay, the little plastic dust sleeve that goes in the middle has an L and an R. So I'm going to be installing the right side, drive side bearing first. Also, your drive side will be reverse thread, so to the left to tighten. So then your non-drive side will be regular thread. And once those are threaded in, so I got a toolkit off Amazon that came with this chain whip slash bottom bracket installer and um, a square taper bottom bracket installer, a chain tool, and a cassette remover. Um, I'll link this in the description below. So now I'm going to grease inside the bottom bracket as well as on the crank arm itself. Alright, now we're going to put in the cranks. So now we have this little cap for the non-drive side to make sure and pull the cranks together and then uh, tighten the pinch bolts. So now we're going to tighten up these pinch bolts. You can tighten them most of the way and then do like a quarter turn on each one until they're tight. All right, now that we got the cranks installed now, we're going to put on the pedals and then they're just waiting on the chain ring. We're going to apply just a little bit of grease to the threads of the pedals. And the pedals have a left and right side, so this one's the right and the other one will be the left. All right, we have the cranks installed now. Um, next, we're going to put on the chain ring. All right, I got the chain ring and chain ring bolts. This is a 34 tooth chain ring. Uh, most people do 30 or 32, but I still wanted to keep, I still wanted to have a pretty high gear. Um, so I went with the 34 tooth 
and I'm gonna add a little bit of blue Loctite to each of the chain ring bolts and we're going to install it. So I ended up putting the chain ring on the inside just because my chain line was so off and the shifting was bad so I moved it to the inside. It's a lot better but we're really close to hitting the frame. Just clearing it by a little bit. But everything's installed and it looks great. So, ready to ride now. Honesty. 